It is official. It is official. It is carved into stone for all of history to forever remember. Luigi's Mansion 3 is the best looking game on the Nintendo Switch. It's not official. There is no official in this case. What is officiality? Is it but an illusion? Perhaps a discussion for another day. I should start a philosophy channel, but like a bad one. Arlo's bad philosophy. Anyway, uh, Digital Foundry, they have a YouTube channel and they uh, they do these like tech analysis. And you've probably heard of Digital Foundry. I feel like everyone probably has, but if you haven't, they have a YouTube channel, technical analyses on video games. They just, they take a look at games and they have ways of measuring uh, resolution and frame rate. And they just kind of look at games from a technical perspective, talk about how they run, uh, what kinds of graphical elements that they have, what the developers use to make the games run better, uh, you know, their strengths, their weaknesses, and it, it's, I love it. It's incredibly interesting. Every time uh, a game comes out that I'm interested in, even a little bit, it's always so much fun to see their tech breakdowns on them. Super good stuff. And while I'm here giving an opinion on Digital Foundry, I will say they get way too much hate. I see so many people making all these like really silly claims about how all they're doing is starting wars and they're focusing so much on graphics and it's just people are like weaponizing this this d information which i don't know it's just it's really silly it's literally just a bunch of like wholesome dudes doing tech breakdowns because they're interested in this so if anyone takes that information and uses it to like fight other people over like console preferences or whatever like that's that's not that's not their fault digital foundry Awesome channel, check them out. Point is though, you know, they've done technical analyses of uh, basically every major Nintendo Switch game, uh, as far as I can see, at least uh, most of them, uh, most of the notable ones, and they just put out a video talking about the their absolute favorites, all of the games on Switch that they feel look the absolute best. You get Oliver and John from the Digital Foundry team, and they're kind of just, they're making it into kind of a conversation, going through all the games. It's like over an hour long, and it's super duper fun. Uh, just they're kind of like reliving their experiences of testing out these games, and just talking about the games themselves and how good they look, and I don't know, it's just like, you definitely go watch the whole video. It's a super duper fun watch. Just and really just reminding you how amazing some Switch games look, how like, it's just, it's such old technology. It's, 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 it's mobile technology. And yet the games that, uh, well, this specifically is talking more about uh, first party exclusive games and uh, just the power that Nintendo and other, uh, other developers working with them have just been able to wring out of the system. The visuals they've been able to create on the hardware, simply amazing. And the uh, items on this list are presented in no particular order, with one exception. The absolute, I mean, spoilers, sorry, this whole thing is a big spoiler for the video. The one game that was in some sort of order because it comes first. John and Oliver both agree that no game on Switch looks better than Luigi's Mansion 3. And I would say this is as close to official as you can get because these are the guys. Digital Foundry, if anybody out there is just looking at games from just a technical and visual perspective of like what a system is able to achieve, it's them. I give it to them. I call this, it's as close to official as you could hope for. And they agree that Luigi's Mansion 3 is it. And that makes me feel good because I feel the same way. Honestly, I've been saying that ever since the game uh, came out. So I feel very validated that I, <laughs> that I also, you know, you have an opinion and then people who are a lot smarter than you have that opinion and you just go like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, that is a good opinion. Um, no, like, yeah, I, I, Luigi's Mansion 3 amazes me. Even to this day, it absolutely amazes me how incredibly good it looks. It was, it was also fun hearing them kind of like mirror a lot of my own uh, my own statements about it that just, it, like it looks, I mean, it's not like it, my thoughts are unique or anything, whatever, forget I said that. Just the idea that the game looks so good, it often looks like it's pre-rendered. You know, the, the character animations in particular, like just Luigi looks so good. The whole environment, it meshes so well. It runs so smoothly. It's like 30 FPS, but it's still, 
all of the animations, there's such a smoothness to it. And the lighting is simply incredible. And the resolution is nice and high. And so it all, it looks like it's running on a more powerful system. It looks like graphics that do not belong on the Switch. It looks like a pre-rendered CG cutscene. It looks like an animated movie in some, some ways, sometimes. And of course, this is because the game is kind of cheating. Not cheating, but like, it's a, it's a very, um, the scope of the game is fairly limited. I mean, like, the game is big. The, you know, the tower that you're climbing is big. But every single scene, the camera is, like, completely out of your control. The camera is always just kind of, like, focusing straight in. It goes wherever it wants to go. There's no moving the camera beyond, like, pointing the poltergust or the flashlight up or down and kind of swiveling it up or down. Um, the developers are always in control of the camera, and that means that they can make everything play to the camera. They can craft these environments so that the only thing being rendered is exactly what you see. And so they can put all of the Switch's power into that versus a bigger game with a bigger scope where you can move the camera all around and it's got to constantly render this world around you and render objects from all these different angles and, and cull objects that you're not looking at and it's always this balance. And so Luigi's Mansion 3 kind of sidesteps that and... Um, takes this limited visual perspective and is able to just throw all of the Switch's horsepower into it. And of course, it's also next level games. Like they they do such good work. They know how to wring power out of hardware as well. I, I think that's why Nintendo bought them. They have the, we, we've seen it in their other games. They have this uncanny ability. It's like Nintendo. I think Nintendo, like they've always been so good at getting all the power they possibly could out of a system and, and creating games that look like they belong on more powerful hardware. Next Level Games just has that. They inexplicably just also have that, that expertise, that ability. And I think, yeah, I, I really think that's why Nintendo bought them and made them an actual first party Nintendo studio. Um, and yeah, and you, you see the incredible work that they do here in Luigi's Mansion 3. It simply does not look like a Switch game. And uh, and really, the whole reason for this video is I just I I just love Luigi's Mansion 3. And it's, like, it's really fun seeing them talk about how good it looks too. And I don't know, I just wanted to bring it up again because I love talking about how good Luigi's Mansion 3 looks. And yeah, apparently the, the Digital Foundry guys they agree. It's a really incredible looking game. The lighting. Can we talk about the light? This is. This shouldn't just turn into a review of Luigi's Mansion 3, but at least I just, it's just amazing. The lighting, the active lighting system. It's, it's really, oh, it's remarkable. Can you imagine, can you fathom how good Luigi's Mansion 4 on the next system would look? I just, I can't even, ooh. Ooh, you could take this level of graphical fidelity, but you could make it bigger. Maybe they could. Ooh, what if they made it like actual like 3D camera and roaming around? That would be, ooh, ooh, that's good. I'm getting thinking now. Either that or they, they keep with this limited perspective, but they just make it look, ooh, that much better. And it's running at 4K resolution and all that stuff. Top of Carlo is doing things to me. I don't, <laughs> just the fact that I could just... We just rant about anything. Any aside, who cares? I don't know. Just do it. Just do it. Just talk about whatever. Digital Foundry. They did a video and they said Luigi's Mansion 3 looks great. I agree. That's the video. That's this video. Go check out their video though. It's seriously really good. It's really fun. All their stuff is really good. But just listening to them talk about awesome looking Switch games for over an hour. Incredibly entertaining. There's a, there's a link. I'll put a link. I'll put a, a link in the description of this video that you're watching now.